viruses don't have a sexual orientation. Protection and vaccination efforts are being made by San Diego County regarding monkeypox and specific members of the LGBTQ community. And this comes as Pride Weekend is just days away. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill is joining us live in the studio about the concerns and the recommendations prior to the festivities this weekend, Ryan. Yeah, Kimberly, the expert that I spoke to says when it comes to the monkeypox virus, it's something that's been jumping around for a long time and he says now it's made its way to another group. The monkeypox virus made its way to the U.S. in mid-May. According to the CDC, 1,053 people have been infected. Here in San Diego, six cases have been reported, but it's enough to get the attention of health experts. This has just basically been an epidemiological accident. So the virus jumped across to someone. Dr. Davy Smith is the chief of infectious diseases and global public health at UCSD. We spoke with him following a recent report from the CDC that says early numbers indicate that LGBTQ men who have sex with men make up a high number of monkeypox cases. And this allowed the transmission to occur amongst a close uh, knit group of uh, gay men. And now that's what's going on. That's prompted San Diego County to get people vaccinated ahead of major upcoming events in San Diego, including Pride. Viruses don't have a sexual orientation. The county says while it's not inherently a sexually transmitted disease, closer body contact with someone with monkeypox can pass the virus on to you. One of the great things about the LGBT community is we really care about one another and we're very interconnected. San Diego Pride's executive director, Fernando Lopez, tells ABC 10 News they've been working on getting the word out when it comes to the virus. There's a wealth of um, educational information that has been produced by the county and public health. And so it seems right now like everyone that uh, in our community is really doing their best to educate themselves, educate each other on what precautions make sense for them. There's an underlying worry with the reports of who the virus is infecting. Well, I think my biggest concern right now is the media stigmatizing the LGBT community and further causing harm. Lopez's hope is that people treat this infectious disease like any other. Whether it's COVID or the flu or monkeypox, these diseases do not discriminate against anyone. And so these are really public health issues that can impact any and every community. A sentiment echoed by health officials. It'll probably also jump over to other groups where we'll also have to see it. The two by appointment only clinics for the county residents who are a high risk of being exposed to monkeypox are being slated in May. The World Health Organization stressed anyone can get or pass the virus regardless of sexuality. Reporting live here in the studio, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.